Hello, today I'm going to be talking about something relatively new and that is a little bit about the Comet browser from Perplexity. And a lot of people already heard about it, some people actually got to use it and finally I got to use it. And in many ways there is a lot of videos out there on the YouTube that says it's a game changer, it's insane, blah blah blah, bunch of hype. Kind of like GPT-5 release was supposed to be just this grand Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and it turns out to be basically that's at least so far in my test, it's nothing that special at all. It's kind of Apple's next iPhone. It's a lot of hype and not no substance there. So yeah, definitely a little bit disappointed at GPT-5 release, but today we're gonna to talk about perplexity. And so their comment browser, and we're just gonna show you one use case, which just amazed me that you can actually do this these days. So let's jump over to my Gmail and uh, Usually on a weekly basis, I go to these different networking events and one of them is hosted by my friend Luca George Antonio on LinkedIn, which I highly, highly recommend, by the way, to visit his networking events. I have a link below about the event. So after each event, he sends an email with a spreadsheet with people's information, who was in the event, name, LinkedIn profile, just a few pieces of information, basically. Nothing you can really seriously use other than if you go do your own research. I was reading an article from one of the newsletters I get, and they mentioned something about connecting Comet to your Gmail. And I thought that was kind of possibly useful. And of course, Comet has this agenti capabilities where you can actually have it do a lot more than just ask a question and get an answer. Looking at my email here, I pulled up his email, and it looks kind of like this. It just has this link, you click on it, and it pulls up the context like this. You can see it's got first name, last name, LinkedIn profile, and industry. So basically it doesn't have much info unless you do your own research. So what I did was I went into Comet, as you can see right here is Comet, from Perplexity. It kind of looks like a regular Perplexity screen, but it's actually their browser Comet. And I put the following prompt. Take a look at the last email from Luca, Speed Networking, Notice I'm not using his last name, just mentioned the first name and a little bit about uh, the group itself. And from that spreadsheet, look at each person's profile and tell me who would be the best people for me to contact and why. Okay. If you look at it on the surface, it doesn't sound that complicated. Okay. But if you really look into details, there is a lot of stuff that this thing has to do to be able to accomplish this. And to be honest with you, my initial reaction was, this is not happening. There's no way this can actually make it work like this. They need to look at my email, okay, and I'll show you in a second how to hook up your email. And then they need to find this email, obviously. They need to look at the spreadsheet there. They need to look at the details of the spreadsheet. They need to look at the each line. In other words, there's lots of different things that need to happen. To us humans, it's a quick, relatively quick process to go through all these uh, things we don't even think about, you know, do this, do this, do this, do this. But to have a computer do it, uh, AI do it like this, it's, it's pretty remarkable um, that it's this multi-step process. And so this is what I got back. When I put in this prompt, it came back and says, here are the top people from latest Luca Speed Networking uh, list that I recommend you contact and why. I pr prioritize those most aligned with your AI for business focus, potential for partnerships, referrals to SMB clients, and likely openness to collaborative pilots. And then it goes in with the details. So there's the Ziad Khan digital products and it's got the paragraph for why. Okay, it's got this gentleman here, Kenny Perry. Again, why? Uh, Richard Gadd, enable you to achieve growth potential, growth consulting, likely advising SMBs on scaling. So in other words, as much as information as it can gather, it's gathering by looking at these people and trying to figure out what exactly they could be useful for. And then over here has got operational and back office leverage. It says great for case studies and cross referrals. So here's my buddy, Ashley White, who if you're looking for bookkeeping services, she is awesome. Definitely look her up. It's got bookkeeping, financial clarity, custom financial reports. And the why is AI for reconciliations, anomaly detection, report generation, and CFO dashboards. There are specific helpful use case instructions basically for me as to explaining why I might want to deal with Ashley 
and in what manner, which is priceless, basically, to have that kind of information coming at you with this brevity and this clarity. So I thought it was remarkable that they did this. Then we got marketing lead gen distribution partners. Uh, and obviously, all this information here clearly did not come from the spreadsheet. Okay, so it looked it up, tried to figure it out. Also notice that these whys are very short, which is what normally people want to do. You don't want to spend five days reading a detailed overview just because it can. Okay, what you want is you want something short so you can quickly establish, do I want to contact Sid or not? And it's got there, why a broad category, worth a short intro to uncover specific service lines, could be a cross-referral partner if serving SMB operations. Okay, so I actually have talked to Sid before, so I know exactly who it is. Makes perfect sense. And then we got industry verticals and packaged offer potential. And then it's got lower priority or niche fit, possible later, and I can just skip these because if I'm not going to do anything with them now, what's the point of contacting them? And it's a suggested outreach order and angle. And it talks about, again, these same people up here in terms of how to potentially contact them. But it's got these four categories of people it recommends. And then it says, if you'd like, I can draft tailored LinkedIn email intros for the top five and queue them up. So just see the level. I mean, this is like the personal assistant for business on steroids here. Okay. So I said, sure, sure good. So the bottom line being that this is amazing that you can do this kind of stuff. It's amazing that with one single prompt, practically, you can get this list of not only people you should be contacting, but also why you should be contacting them. And then it will help you actually create introductions for these people that you choose totally under your control, but automated at the same time, both for LinkedIn and for emails. And I think it's phenomenal. I mean, this opens a whole new door to how people conduct business, in my opinion. And so to show you how this is set up, if you go to your account, then you click on your little avatar here, it comes up with this menu. In one of the menu options called connectors. If you click on connectors, it'll come up with all the different connectors you can use. This is a free perplexity account. So the only connectors I get is Gmail and calendar and WhatsApp. So you simply over here, it would say connect, you click on connect, it verifies in two seconds and that's it. Basically you're ready to go. So I'd recommend you go through all these different selections and see what's available and what you can do with it. Okay. Obviously their pro account is much more capable. You can do a lot more things than just what I showed you. And so far in terms of speed, this comment is totally on the ball. I mean, it just moves at my speed which is all I want. I don't really want anything moving faster than what I'm basically asking for. If I ask for something, it gives me immediate answer. I'm happy with the speed. I'm going to be using a lot more, a lot more. No question about that. And if you have any questions or any kind of use cases you'd like to share, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And as I come up with new things and new ideas of how it could be used, I'll definitely share them on the YouTube channel as well. With that out of the way, until next time, I'm still Oleg. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Music by Eleven Labs.